The Uber's tier is a tier of legendary Pokemon where powerful legendaries like Coridon and Rayquaza roam around. They are a tier above OU which is standard play on Smogon.com and anything that is too strong for OU gets banned to Uber's. OU is like the first division of competitive Pokemon and Uber's is like the zeroth division. But every so often there comes a Pokemon that's so strong that it's overpowered even for Uber's, the tier meant for overpowered Pokemon. This situation is rare and happens once every few years. The first time it happened was with Mega Rayquaza back in Generation 6. Mega Rayquaza was so much stronger than every other legendary, even better than staples like Primal Kyogre and Primal Groudon, that the Ubers player base voted to ban it and made it the first Pokemon ever to be banned from Ubers. This ban continued into Generation 7 as well. Generation 8 added Zacian, and the Zacian forms were too overpowered as well, joining the short list of Pokemon banned from Ubers. Arceus in Generation 4 was unusable because of technical limitations at the time in implementing Arceus, but was only actually banned after the fact. But now we have Generation 9 Calric Shadow, the latest Pokemon to get banned from Ubers. Calric Shadow existed in Generation 8 too and was extremely controversial there as well. Calric Shadow is one of the most gifted offensive Pokemon of all time, with a monstrous 165 special attack and a speed stat of 150. It will outspeed you and has enough power to one-hit KO you too. Its signature move Astral Barrage is a 120 base power move and Psyshock targets the physical defense which lets you get through special walls. Very few Pokemon have both the high special and physical defense needed to take on Calyrex. On top of all of that, Calyrex Shadow has Nasty Plot to boost its special attack and its ability means that it gains special attack every time it knocks out a Pokemon. It is arguably the best offensive Pokemon of all time. Except for one fatal flaw, Dark type Pokemon. The only moves it has to hit Dark type Pokemon are the weak Draining Kiss and the average Pollen Puff. Make no mistake, these moves can overpower Dark type Pokemon too in the right situation, but if there is a weakness to Calyrex Shadow, it's the Dark type. In Generation 8, Yveltal emerge as a check to the powerful Calyrex Shadow being neutral to Pollen Puff and being able to roost off damage and threaten Calyrex Shadow back with a knockoff or Dark Pulse. The Gen 8 Uber's metagame was highly centralized with Yveltal being on literally 90% of teams. Yveltal was independently an excellent Pokemon, but it also managed to hold on against the best offensive Pokemon in the game which was Calyrex Shadow. But even with the presence of Yveltal, Calyrex Shadow was voted on to try and get banned in Gen 8. Calyrex Shadow was a top threat and some people felt that even though Yveltal existed, the sheer power of Calyrex Shadow was broken and made the game not fun. Ultimately though, there is a higher standard to ban something for the tier meant for overpowered Pokemon and the vote failed and Calyrex Shadow was not banned from Gen 8. But now, we're in Gen 9. Pokemon Home introduced Calyrex Shadow with two changes to the metagame. One is that Yveltal and Ho-Oh don't exist anymore. The 100% usage rate Pokemon and the number one way to beat Calyrex is no longer in the game and neither is one of the viable high special defense monsters like Ho-Oh. But number two, now Calyrex Shadow can use Terrestrialization. Calyrex Shadow's entire build is built around the fact that it is overpowered but has one fatal flaw. That fatal weakness no longer exists. Calyrex Shadow can change into a fairy or fighting type and one hit KO the dark types that try and stop a base 165 Astral Barrage. These types also give Calyrex Shadow a resistance to Sucker Punch. Calyrex Shadow is faster than every Pokemon, stronger than every Pokemon and now has 3 stab moves to try and break you. Even Ting Lu, one of the best defensive Pokemon of all time, fares pretty poorly versus a Terra fighting Calyrex. Extreme Speed Arceus Normal can switch into an Astral Barrage, but again it loses to the Terra fighting Terra Blast. Terrestrializing defensively to stop Calyrex Shadow is an idea, but it's not really that effective because there's literally no type you can go to that can deal with a stab Terra Blast and a stab Astral Barrage. You have to Terra Normal at exactly the right time and hope you don't get caught by a substitute or a Terra Blast one hit KO. The onus is on the defender to get the Terra Normal exactly right, otherwise you lose the game, and even then you've spent your Terra just to be immune to Astral Barrage. Calyrex Shadow could even use Terra Normal defensively to gain an immunity to faster ghost type Pokemon like another Calyrex Shadow. You can't even use berries to surprise Calyrex and stop a super effective hit because it has the Unnerve ability. 
All the other fast legendaries like Zacian, Coridon, Miraidon, or even Eternatus all get outsped and KO'd by Calric Shadow. The only other way to beat Calric Shadow was with even faster Choice Scarf Pokemon, but that isn't a switch in, only a revenge killer. A whopping 93% of players voted to ban Calric Shadow, one of the largest ban margins ever. Gen 9 Calric Shadow now has its place in history alongside Mega Rayquaza, Zacian, and Arceus as one of the strongest Pokemon of all time.